Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be dismantling the CEX gaming PC. I've got plans for this and it needs to go into a new case which I unboxed in the last video. It's the Antec P101 Silent. So we've got to take everything out of here, I'll leave the fans in. We don't need those, the new case already has fans, but everything else has to come out. And of course, that means no more warranty on this thing, but the warranty at CEX past six months is kind of a bit dodgy anyway, so that doesn't really matter to me. And this will also be a good opportunity to see the quality of the build that the person did. I know that there's quite a few motherboard screws missing and possibly some missing standoffs, so I guess we'll find out if the board's bent at all. Also, there's a bit of a problem with the I.O. shield, that's not improper, so hopefully we can fix that when we put it in the new case. But we're literally just going to take this apart today. And as you can see, there's cables hanging out of it already. That's because of, in, in its current state, I've been using it with hard drives connected, but there's no room to put hard drives in here. I've got cables stuffed into that area, and I don't have the screw, so I've had all the power cables and the SATA cables hanging out and having the drives external. Not ideal, but there wasn't really much I could do about it. But now I've got all that talking out of the way, let's just start off taking this thing apart. So I think the first thing we'll take out is the graphics card. This is the HD 4650 that I made a video on. I need to make a part two to that at some point. I'll do that at some point soon. It's just I'm quite busy at the moment with other things. So that'll probably be some point next month, I hope. So let's just take this out. There we go. Here is the graphics card and I'm just going to take all these components and put them onto the Antec P101 box that I've got next to me. I've already got the SSD out of this in there. I've already taken that out. So I'm just going to start adding things to that pile. Just to get them out of the way, I'll unplug all the SATA cables. We don't need those right now. And yeah, there is a lot of screws missing on this board like I thought, but just unplugging this is making it flex quite a lot, so I'll try not to be too rough with that if possible. Right, so now I've removed those, what I'm going to do is unplug all the other cables from the motherboard. Might as well just start off straight away with the HD audio. Let's just take everything and unplug it. It looks like something was actually already unplugged. The front USB 2 wasn't even connected, which is kind of concerning. And look at that, this definitely isn't screwed in very well, is it? So I've got to be quite careful here. So here's the thing with buying things you use. You never know how well it's been put together. Look at all that. So I'm gonna have to hold the board in and unplug the USB 3. There we go. And there is the other front panel connectors out as well. Now I've just got to unplug the CPU power and the 24 pin. Okay, so I've just unplugged the, the CPU power as well as the 24 pin. So I think what we're going to do next is sort out all of this and we're going to do that by removing the power supply. Now it's only held in by three screws anyway. So it's kind of a bit loose, so let's get this out now. Now I did just say that that thing was held in with three screws. Turns out it's only two, no wonder it's been so loose for all this time. Alright, so the screws are out of the power supply, so I'm just going to try and remove it. I don't know if any of the cables are tied to each other, so this may not come out properly. This is actually semi-modular, so I'll unplug all the things that I can off the back and it looks like one of the cables is on with a twist tie so I'll just undo all of this and hopefully it should all come out. Okay the power supply is now out we've got the 6 plus 2 pin for the GPU here and then something that fell on the floor is the SATA power so I'll Put that off to the side and I think that that is everything that was connected to the power supply apart from this which is kind of stuck under the case. Now this is the Molex power so we probably won't need this but I'm not going to 
get rid of it just in case so I'll keep that as well and then all of this now can just stay in the case because we will not need it in the new one so I think now we can take out the motherboard. Alright so this motherboard removal will be interesting because I'm going to keep the RAM in and the CPU and the cooler because I don't need to change any of that but there is I can see straight away one, two, three, four screws missing which is rather annoying so let's just start off by removing the screws that we do have and apologies about the angle there's not really much I can do my tripod is already in a bit of an awkward position and this sort of thing just isn't very easy to film anyway and looks like this screw doesn't really want to come out okay first screw out and I don't know how many more there are so I'll just do this, I'll get all the screws out there, I'll come back. There we go, I've removed the screws that were holding the motherboard in and there is only four which is kind of a bit concerning and something else that's concerning is only two of them were screwed in all the way, two of them were loose. Now let's just take the board out of this case and hopefully it will be secured properly in the new one when I come around to building that. Okay, it is board removal time. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I don't want to pull on the cooler because I'm not sure how well attached that is. Knowing the quality of the rest of this it's probably only held on slightly so I'm going to have to be careful with that. So I'm not actually sure how I'm going to do this. I'm going to ground myself on the case if that's even a thing that works and I guess we've just got to Go ahead and lift this out. Doesn't help that the case is moving here, but it seems to be somehow attached to something. I'm not sure what. Okay, let's try this again. I think it's just a bit stuck on the I.O. shield, so I'm going to try and get a nice hold of this. And I'm just going to check that there is no more screws holding it on. I can't see any. Yeah, it looks like this should come out now, so I'm guessing I'm just going to need a little bit of force. And there we go. The board is coming free, apart from there's a cable that is stuck ah, underneath the Mortar Titanium logo. So, I've got to pull that out. Okay, I believe the motherboard is now free, so we can now move this case out of the way. All right, so this is what we've just taken out, and of course we've got the SSD as well that I took out before this video, and also the power supply cables on the floor. So I think that that is really it for this one. I've taken everything out that I need. I'll give it all a bit of a dust because it has been in use for a year now with me. I have had that computer since I believe mid-February, so yeah, a year with it and no real problem. So hopefully it continues to serve me well with its new use. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.